Welcome back to our SAP Tech Byte series on getting started with SQL Script in SAP HANA Cloud. This is the fifth and final part of our series, and today we will look at table manipulation via index-based cell access and table variable operators. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back. We're going to continue right where we left off uh, and continue on with our tutorial group um, on SQL Script on HANA Cloud. And we're gonna do the last two tutorials here, the use index based cell access tutorial and the use table, uh, table variable operators uh, tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started with the index based cell access. I'll move that to my other monitor. So we're going to basically create another procedure to work with and uh, we'll put some code in here that illustrates how we can use index-based cell access to manipulate data within our intermediate table variables. So let's use what we've learned and we'll go ahead and create another procedure in our procedures folder. And go to view and find command, type HANA and create database artifact. Okay, we're already in the procedures folder. That's good. HANA Cloud is our version. We'll drop this down to HDB procedure here. And the artifact name is build products. So basically in this procedure, all we're really doing is building a list of products. Okay, so Let's go ahead and look at that. First thing we need to do is um, define our output parameter. So let's go ahead and do that. So our output parameter is EX products, which has a structure of product ID, category, and price. Okay. Next, we're going to insert uh, some code here, and then we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and copy and paste in this code. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, so first things first, we are actually doing an explicit declare of our intermediate table variable called LT products, okay? So again, you can do an implicit declaration for intermediate table variables, or you can explicitly define how they look. In this case, where we're calling, uh, we're, we're making the structure just like the output parameter, EX products. So we can say table like EX products, okay? Um, so that's the structure it will take on is product ID, category, and price, okay? Now we're doing a select from our um, products table where uh, we're bringing all the products in and uh, we're bringing in product ID, category, and price from that, that table and putting that in our intermediate table variable LT products. But in this case, we want to show index-based cell access. So in this section here, um, I'm basically now overriding the values that are in the first row of my intermediate table variable. And I'm gaining access to each column individually. So product ID, category, and price. And this is this one here is the index of the row that I'm accessing. So I'm overriding the value for product ID with product A, overriding the, the, the value for category is software, and I'm overriding the price as well. Um, you can see I'm doing the same thing with uh, the second row and the third row. So basically overriding the first three records um, of my intermediate table variable with different data. And then I'm just simply doing a select against my intermediate table variable and passing that back out uh, of my output parameter. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this. And now I can do a deploy. And Hopefully I did everything correctly. Now we can go over to our database explorer and refresh. And we'll go ahead and do a generate call statement for our build products procedure. 
and then we'll go ahead and call our procedure. And you can see here that um, the first three rows of, of products here has been, has been overridden with my values. So that's how we can get direct access. And if this table had, we didn't put any data in this table, we could just we would simply be inserting rows into uh, the table. But in this case, we had data in it. Um, we, we had put data in it just before in, uh, over updating these, these rows. Um, so basically we're updating the first three rows of the table and then the rest is, is as we got it from the database. Um, so that's how we use uh, index-based cell access to, to update or insert new values into individual cells of an intermediate table variable, okay? Okay, so that's it for that tutorial, and we can now move on to using table variable operators. And we're going to continue to work with this procedure. So let's go back to our business application studio. And the first step is to basically get rid of what we've done. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of this here. So we'll leave the declare statement and our select statement here. Again, doing an uh, explicit declaration of, of our products table and then uh, filling that that intermediate table variable with data from our database table MD products, okay? So the next section here, uh, I'm gonna insert some code and we can talk about it here. So basically here, what we're doing is we're going to, this is illustrating two things here. We are, we're gonna manipulate the output parameter EX products, which is just like an intermediate table variable, but, but it's, it's an output parameter. So what we're doing here in this first line is we're inserting all of the records from our intermediate table variable of LT products into our output parameter using this dot insert keyword. So this is what we refer to as table variable operators, where we have the, the name of the output parameter or intermediate table variable dot insert. Right, so this is the command to do that. And then the, the following three lines here, we're ba basically just inserting new rows into our output parameter, uh, EX products. So, um, so we can go ahead and save this and take a look at the results. And save and deploy. And hopefully we did everything right. And we'll return to our database explorer and generate a call statement. And we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so now see, this is the difference here. We're using a table variable operator with insert. So now instead of overriding our first, um, our first three um, rows, we're actually inserting them into the table. So you can see that the uh, line four, five, and six are, are products that, that weren't, weren't there before because we were overwriting them with product A, B, and C. But now we're using an insert uh, table variable operator. We are now inserting rows. Okay, let's continue on. Let's uh, go back to our SAP Business Application Studio and we're going to use the update operator. So let's add an, a declare statement up here for the index. Oops, there we go. And next it says uh, to add a for loop. So, so in this case, this for loop, basically what we're doing is looping through the, um, the, the rows of the EX products output parameter and using the update table variable, variable operator to actually increase the price uh, by, by 1.25. Okay, so that's, how, that's, that's what we're doing here with the, um, the EX products and then we're, we're spe specifically saying for the price column and dot update and then taking the price 
the index here is the, the row that we're actually working on at that particular time, uh, and then updating that price with that value for that index, okay? It's basically just row row based processing, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and save that and deploy. Now let's go back to our database explorer and let's rerun this again. And we should see, the, see these prices get a little bit bigger, okay? Yeah, so as you can see, the price is now, now being updated accordingly, okay? Okay, the next section is the delete operator. So let's add a couple more declare statements at the top here. And then it wants us to do another for loop. So in this case, again, we're, we're doing row-based processing here, looping through each row of the product's output parameter. And for each iteration there, um, we're checking the price of that particular row, right? So I have access to that, exproducts.price, and then the, the, that index, which would be that row, right? What, um, what, is the, what is the value of that price? If it's less than or equal to 2,500, then we want to delete it. So in this case, we want to collect, um, collect which rows we want to delete. So in this case, we're updating a, an array index and then um, basically updating, um, updating an array called um, deletion index or a del index. And then after our for loop, after we know what all, all of the rows that we want to delete, then we're using this delete um, table variable operator and we're passing it that array of all of the row indexes that of the output parameter that we want to delete. So we're deleting them all at one shot as opposed to uh, one at a time. We're, we're checking the value one at a time, but we're doing all of the deletion at one, at one statement. Uh, and that would be at line 34 here. Okay, so we can go ahead and save that and deploy. And we can go back and run it again in the database explorer and you can see that it gets rid of anything that has a price um, less than 2,500. So that leaves us with um, just a few products left in our table, okay? Continuing on, uh, I believe this is our last operator, the search operator. So we will we'll add another output parameter to our, um, to our signature here. Whoops, didn't want to do that. And output parameter. Called uh, PC product ID. Okay. And we'll add a couple lines to the end. Yes, this looks okay. Yes, this looks okay. All right, so here we're using the search um, table variable operator, uh, basically saying for the products output table, we're going to search um, for category. We're gonna search the category column um, with the, for the value PC, okay? And it's going to bring us back the first, the first, um, the first index where it finds that so that it puts that value here. And then basically all we're doing here is taking, um, taking the, returning the product ID of that row based on that index and passing that out to PC product ID just to illustrate that, that the search brings us something back and we can know what row that that's associated with. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that and deploy. And now we'll go back to our database explorer. We'll run this one more time. 
Um, let's just go back here and actually generate a new call statement. Um, just so we can pick up the output parameter here, generate call statement. Yeah, so we have the, the new output parameter here and we'll go ahead and run this. And if I flip over to result two, hopefully I see that we have a value here and yes. So the first, um, the first PC that it picks up uh, is product ID um, HT1210. And that's what I get back here as my, my product ID. So that's how we can use the search operator, okay? And that looks like it basically wraps up our entire tutorial group on, um, on SQL Script and getting started with SQL Script and SAP HANA Cloud. That wraps up our series on getting started with SQL Script and SAP HANA Cloud. Make sure you check out our other SAP Tech Byte videos on the SAP Developers YouTube channel today.